Good day, my name is Andre Olivier. I'm a chaplain with the Dogs of War Veterans Association. And what a privilege it is today just to share a short message with you. And the title of my message today is the following. Are you in the right place where God wants you to be? You see, the Word of God says that you and I have been created in His image. That you'll find right in the beginning of the Bible in Genesis 1. So because God created us, He's our Creator. We've been created by Him. And He created you and me for a specific purpose. Now to fulfill that specific purpose, we need to be in a specific place. And sometimes it's a season, sometimes it's a journey. But let me try and explain what I'm asking you if you are in the correct place, by giving you two examples in the Bible. The first one would be Joseph, one of 12 sons. Yes, the beloved son of his father. But the place where he was, he experienced no recognition or no anointing from his siblings, from his brothers. As a matter of fact, they planned to kill him. They threw him in the well and he was sold off into slavery. And when he eventually got to Egypt, there again, he got no recognition. He went into jail. But eventually, he was appointed as second in command of the whole of Egypt. And all the anointing started to flow. God's favor to the Pharaoh was manifested. The provision during the drought was manifested. And eventually, eventually, after he had passed, what happened was Moses came in and carried on with the legacy that Joseph did during his time when he was anointed by God with wisdom during the drought period in Egypt and where he got favor from the Pharaoh being an Hebrew. So he ended up in the right place at the right time to do that which God created him to do. Then if we look at Moses, on the other side, Moses grew up in the Pharaoh's house. He was there for 40 years. But that was not his anointing. That was not his gifting. As a matter of fact, he was not even accepted by the Israelites when they accused him and pointed out that it, he had killed an Egyptian and asked, who appointed you as our leader? And Moses fled into the desert for 40 years. And that 40 years also was not where God wanted him to be. It was part of different seasons to eventually get him to where God wanted him to be. So after 80 years, God sent him back to Egypt. That is now when his anointing started, where the blessings from God started, because that's where God wanted him to be. He, he did the ten plagues in Egypt by the power of God, just because he had a staff in his hand and he was obedient to God. Then in the, in the 40 years in the desert, it was Moses uh, through whom God worked to open up the Red Sea for the manna, for interceding for the people, for the water out of the rock. All of those things, that is where God wanted Moses to be in that season. So then my question to you would be, do you know where God wants you to be in this season of your life? Are you in the correct place where God wants you to be in this season of your life? And if not, then I want to suggest via this short message that you go on your knees and pray. Let Abba Father can show you where he wants you to be so that the anointing and the blessings and the reason why you were created can start to manifest itself. I hope this meeting has stimulated you to go to the Word, to go read the Word, to go read the story of Joseph, to go read the story of Moses and apply that to your own life. I want to bless you with the love of the Lord and say you are blessed and the best is yet to come allow me to close with a short prayer Abba Father bless the people that are listening to this message 
Bless them with revelation knowledge, Lord, that they will know, that they will know, that they will know where you want them to be in this season of their life. In Jesus' wonderful name I pray. Amen and amen. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.